no need to apologize. That's a message from Sky News. Andrew Bolt told King Charles III not to apologize you know, for the atrocities that the British government did to Kenya. I mean, this is a message that, of course, has shocked Kenyans. And actually, it is trending right now. People are like, why shouldn't King Charles apologize? In fact, the question I will start with is that, is that, do you think the king should apologize to Kenyans, you know, for the atrocities that the British government, you know, did here in Kenya? Now, um, not very well. The king is still in Kenya here, and actually is being is received is receiving state treatment. And one of the key issues that came out was that he's supposed to apologize to Kenyans, yeah, and show remorse you know, for what happened here. Remember, people died, the Maumau and and so forth, the Nandi people, you know, they were sprayed by bullets. That's that's what happened. But now. All this blame is being put upon this King Charles III, together with his wife. You know very well. Now, of course, Ruto had also uh, come out. You no, know, had said something pertaining this matter. Ruto, of course, wanted the king to say something to Kenyans that, of course, was apologetic. But the king is being warned not to do so because. He's got there's no reason to do so that's what sky news is telling kenyans don't uh persuade the king to apologize or don't you know, intimidate the king because kenyans uh, gained or benefited from the give from the colonialism yeah the english language we are not speaking came from britain that, that, that's the argument like kenyans benefited from British government, yeah, the British taught Kenyans how to read and to write, which is true, which I think I believe is true because that's what happened. But now, did that did, did that you know justify? Can just can that justify the atrocities or the deaths that were witnessed here in Kenya? Do you think so? Because Kenyans at the time wanted to be self-independent, yeah, they didn't want to be ruled by the whites. Which is a good thing because it's your country. Why should you be ruled by the whites? Yeah, and that of course saw the rise of Mau Mau and other organizations. Like you know, remember the Nandi people revolted against 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 Great British. Remember the you know even Luo people revolted. Coast we have uh, we had a woman called Mekatilili Wamwenza, who of course led the coastal people against the colonialism. Yeah, so. Sky News is arguing that all Kenyans benefited from the British government because we were taught English and now we are, we are speaking English. Okay, so my question is, should that you know justify whatever happened in Kenya? Do you think so? Of course, comment then. Of course, subscribe. Tell me, do you think uh, this English language Kenyans are now talking justifies whatever happens? In the 1960s, 1950s, yeah, the deaths and the shootings. Subscribe, thank you.